what's up guys it's Jordan from Teaser's Books and today I'm going to be reviewing a book surprisingly which I don't do very often even though I'm a booktuber so yeah let's get started. So today I'm going to be doing a review of Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. Basically Never Never is a novella series that Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher decided to put out and they put out one every few months over the course of a year and there is three parts to the story. Do you read each part and they all go together obviously and it was very good. I gave all of them I think either five or four stars and I really highly enjoyed them and I recommend them to someone who likes Colleen Hoover or likes any kind of mystery slash romance novels because that's basically what it was. Never Never is basically about these two people. I don't even remember their names. God. <gasps> Silas and something. God dang it. What are their names? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to look up their names because I can't remember their names. I decided to do a book review spontaneously and I didn't really write anything down or prepare myself for it. Charlie. Charlie. So Never Never is basically about a girl named Charlie and a boy named Silas. And so one time they just magically appear in a history classroom and they're not sure where they are and who they are. They don't even know their own names. And so they slowly find start to find things out about themselves and they find out they've been dating on and off and they used to be really really close and then all of a sudden there is some drama between their families and now they're uh, sneaking around and trying to have a relationship even though their parents don't really want them to. And there's this whole like backstory to it but they have no idea why they can't remember. They spend each part trying to figure out why they can't remember and trying to find out more and more stuff about themselves to try to solve this mystery as to why they keep forgetting their memories. I really love the mystery behind this. I love trying to guess and it's been a long time since I've had a book where I have to try to guess and see like what's actually going to happen and why they lost their memories and I was way off by why they lost their memories but you know <laughs> that happens sometimes and I thought Silas was a really really good male character. He was really sweet with Charlie even though she was kind of a bitch sometimes. I didn't really like Charlie as much. I found her annoying and whiny at points but I did find that she did stand up for herself when she needed to and it came through in the end. Personally it is not my favorite book that is by Colleen Hoover. I would not recommend starting with this one if you haven't read any Colleen Hoover books but I do recommend it for someone who does enjoy Colleen Hoover and does want a bit of a romance but more with a mystery than anything. The romance is not heavily uh, pushed in this. I did not find it was all based on the romance. It was a minor theme because the major theme was just finding out why they lost their memories and what was going on. I did really like all the minor characters as well. I thought they fit in really well. My favorite character other than the other than Silas was definitely Silas's brother because they were quite similar. I just really really liked him for some reason. I thought he was funny and uh, he reacted totally how I would react to finding out that my brother can't remember crap. He was kind of like I don't really know what's going on here. Um, I think you're crazy. I'm 90% sure that you guys are crazy and 5% sure that you guys are just trying to pull my leg. And they were like, what about the other 5%? He goes, the other 5% is thinking that I'm crazy. <sighs> People just walked outside my window. That was creepy. That's all I really have to say about this book, but I do recommend this series, mini novella series. I did count them each as an individual book just because I thought you know, why not bring my reading goal up a little bit since I've been in a slump recently. And yeah, let me know if you guys have read Never Never. I would love to discuss with you guys and fangirl with you guys about the little teeny little parts that I liked and stuff like that. Uh, once again, you can follow me on my Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog. I'll put all the links down below. Thanks for watching and keep on reading, guys. Bye!